Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you about how to load a file names that is extracted from a particular folder into the SQL Server. So I have like two files in my particular folder like SQL file folder, customer file and employee file. I am going to extract this file and this file names into an SQL Server table. Like I have a table like creating, I am going to create a table like file information table with a file ID as an uh, identity column and file name as a varchar and load time is a date time. So I am going to create this table and I am going to execute this. See I am going to and I am going to select this. See I don't, I don't have any file ID or file name or load time. So I am going to insert the, the file names of that particular uh, folder into this uh, a table by using an SSIS. Here I am going to use like a new package SSIS package as new SSIS package package I am going to rename that into load file file 1 so in this I am going to create a new load Creating a new SSIS package for this, I'm going to get drop, uh, dragging for each loop container. What is this for each loop uh, container does? Repeating it repeats the control flow in a particular package. So it repeats that control flow. So what every time I doesn't want to go to that particular folder where we have that file name. So for that I'm going to create a new variable. And here I am going to create a new variable and this variable name will be the folder path will be the folder name and it is of data type will be the string and the value will be the folder path where we have this one. I am going to select this folder path and I am going to insert over here. So for every every time if we pass this folder path variable then the it will go the uh, iteration will be done. So for each loop and I am going to collection and this enumerator will be the for each file enumerator and I doesn't want to give any folder particular folder and the file names it can be of any file name with any extension it will read. So and that for that expressions I have to give like I am going to go to directory for which directory and the expression will be the variable which we are which we have created like it will go to if you want to evaluate expression see we have this uh, folder path so that variable will be there and okay and and here i am i have selected like fully qualified means it it will read full path with the folder name and everything path with the file extension if you want to name an extension it will do that and if we want only the name it will we have to select and the traverse subfolders means it will collect the data from the if if you have any subfolders over in this folder so in that if you want to collect any file name from that particular subfolders also it will do and then whatever we have extracted the data over here that one I am going to keep it in a new variable like I am going to create a variable mapping like we are going to give a new variable name as full file name and ok then ok and this whatever the data we have got we have to keep it in a SQL server with an execute SQL task. I am going to keep and drag and drop double click over here. Here what I am going to do it is an OLEDB connection. I am going to create a new connection over here. Select and new connection here already I have so I am going to re delete that and I am going to create a new connection and for that I want to get my server name. So this is my, I am copying this server name and I am pasting over here. Mine is a SQL server authentication and I am going to give user id and password and then I am going to start a database, I am going to say test connection 
text connection is succeeded and this okay and this okay the next thing is this is on source type is in direct input what we have to give only the file name if you see all this identity column is a auto increment and it is a default value we will get the get date so only the file name that we have to pass over here so for that i am going to give direct sql statement as insert into file information table and the column name is file name values and question mark so whatever you will pass here it will go so this is how a SQL statement is given over here with the here and it will insert the values so and then the parameter mapping and what parameter we have to map that add one add new variable like dot output what what we have read it in the full file name for variable and it is of a data type varchar so we can select this varchar where is this so varchar or we can write over here and the parameter parameter name here what we have is sorry varchar parameter name will be here we i am going to give as zero like uh, identity index index will be always it will start with a zero it will uh, start with a zero and increment so okay so this is all we have done like we have inserted the data and this is, and now what i am going to do is i am going to start and unseat both the tick marks means the file names has been inserted into this my sql server so now if we select this select star from file information see we got all the data like with full file name like c slash user uh, uses all this sql files excel so full path we got this is how we are going to load file names from an folder into an SQL, uh, SQL server table by using SSAS. Thank you. Thank you for listening. If you like my video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.